Good morning. Friday. Black Friday for some of us, right? <laughs> oh, all my years in retail and this would have always been such a crazy day. I don't know. <laughs> Is anyone going out shopping in like real or in person? <laughs> or are you doing your Black Friday stuff online? <laughs> interesting don't know i'm out here just enjoying my time hanging out hazy sun trying to pop through And just hanging out in witness on an absolutely gorgeous November 27th, 2020. And Thanksgiving and how grateful we are for family, for our friends, for the people in our life. And that led me into this prayer this morning about the significance of having community, the significance of surrounding yourself around people who share the same desires in their life and goals and they want to chase the same dreams and they want similar things in their life as far as for their health, for their well-being, for their families. and. I, I get to spend so much time in a community that I didn't know I needed until I stepped in and I stepped into a place of I didn't want it I didn't think I needed it and I was way too busy for it and I felt at the time like ah oh, why but at the same time, there was something inside of me that was drawn and I couldn't resist it. So last Saturday, really, it's been almost a week and this has been on my heart all week. I, I can't tell you the things that happen in community, but for me, things that happened in community awaken, dream, Dream big. Dream bigger. What is it that you want? What do you want for your family? What are some dreams that you hold on your heart? How would you feel if you reached some of those dreams? What if that number one goal or dream on your heart was your life? How would you feel? What would life look like? What does life look like when we have people who choose to breathe life, to speak truth, to honor us right where we are. And in 2020, we're in a lot of different places, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, financially, in every area we are. We're like a hot mess in our society of everything. And a lot of people are hurting. And a lot of people have lost hope. And even in our community, there's people who are not feeling it, you know? COVID, COVID and the social and the world, things going on in the world right now are pulling at us in so many different directions. 
but what I'm finding is that when we fill ourselves and we take care of ourselves and we awaken and become fully aware and conscious about what is going on around us and in us and through us we take different measures in our life we take different actions and community has made all of the difference in my spiritual heart of inner healing and for me to grow to a place where today I'm sharing my heart and sometimes even things that are hard in my life and hopefully for myself right but for someone who maybe is really contending today in something in their life for their health for their mental health for their physical health for their financial health and maybe if I get really comfortable with being uncomfortable and talking about the blessings that I have gotten on this journey that in just a few weeks it's going to be five years that I started this journey and went on and all the growth that's happened in me i'm learning that seasons like 2020 life crazy i'm learning that even in these hard seasons that there's something for us to learn and grow and adapt and become that all of a sudden now all of these things that are going on in the world are not obstacles that I run from, but they're actually obstacles I choose to run into. And it became when I started to open my mind into mental, emotional awareness, fighting through emotional mismanagement and learning to take charge of my own life and become the dominant force in my life is how I want to lead others to have the same. This journey that I've been on has completely changed everything about my life. Five years ago, I was working three jobs, a business that I owned, full-time clerical work, and a part-time job in retail. The freedoms that I got are not only the freedoms of the chains I broke in my physical body, but in my mental body. And now I'm working on that financial peace. And the world of joy and peace and abundance is coming to me because I'm taking time to grow and learn. And it's been in this community, this safe environment where people lift, build, encourage, speak truth, tell us the truth even when we don't wanna hear it, uh, sometimes to help us strengthen, stretch, and grow. And it's a place where I got courage and so many opportunities. And today, I'm inviting you, are you dreaming? Are you living the best life for you right now in this season? How could you be if you could? If today you could live your very best, what would it look like if today you were living your very best self? Today, because the only day I have to work on me is today. It's the only day I've got to fight for myself and improve myself. The only person I'm comp comparing myself to is the girl I was yesterday, and I'm chasing her. <laughs> Who are you chasing? Where do you want to be? How do you want to end 2020? How do you want to show up? And how, does, how do you want to look back at 2020 and how you pursued through it? 
we still have time mentally, emotionally, physically to make those changes in our life and to take charge and be the dominant force in your life as well. I'd love to talk with you more. If this is something that's been on your heart, you know someone who could benefit from some TLC and L-O-V-E, <laughs> bring them to me. I'd be happy to share. I serve from this place of abundant love. And I bring it to anyone and everyone who's looking to better and improve their life in any area.